Designated as R418-1 in the American Card Catalog, the 1959 Fleer Ted Williams set consists of 80 standard size cards. The set was distributed in 6 or 8 card packs at 5 cents each, with 24 packs in each box. Images on fronts are displayed in both formats, with backs all being horizontal. The text is a biography of the Splinter's life, which follows from his childhood through the 1958 campaign. Captions relaying the photographic action can be found within the bottom red banner on some examples. The issue marks Fleer's first sports card release since they printed their business name on backs of 1923 W515 strip cards. The company signed Ted away from Topps in order to produce this set. 1958 was the last time the latter would offer a playing day card of Williams. His name wouldn't emerge in one of their sets again until 1969 when he was managing the Senators. Special moments touched upon in the Fleer set include his team's attempts to capture a pennant, all-star game heroics, learning the finer points of hitting, and the infamous Williams shift. Non-baseball topics feature his military career and love of fishing. Famous personalities who make cameos in this set include Sam Snead, Jim Thorpe, and Jimmy Fox. Card number 68, which shows Ted signing his 1959 contract with Boston GM Bucky Harris, was withdrawn from production early on due to the Boston executive being under contract with rival tops. Easily the most sought after example in the run due to its scarcity, many counterfeits have been produced. Fakes can be distinguished by a slight crosshatch pattern over the photo on front, so be alert. Ted would sign on to play two more seasons with Boston. 1959 wound up being the worst in his career. However, he bounced back for a remarkable and memorable coda in 1960. Fleer continued with new baseball sets immediately following the success of this release. 1960 and 61 baseball greats showcase many Hall of Famers from multiple decades, and the 1963 set includes more popular stars and legends. Here's where the composer stands with this newly acquired collection. While showing some of the examples in my set, let me go on record and say these cards are awesome. The company did such a great job highlighting a sliver of American League history with one of the most prominent athletes of his time. The images are full of color and wide shots of uniforms and the stadium fields help tell the story of 1950s and 60s baseball. The backs don't skip on info detailing Ted's trip through the minor leagues, picking up countless awards, reaching many milestones, and of course, his tips for hitting. One of my favorite examples is his game-winning home run in the ninth inning of the 1941 All-Star Game in Detroit. Whose hand do you think that is on the left? Ted spent 1943 through 45 serving in the Navy and Marine Corps. He was in his mid-20s during this time and still had a lot to give the game the following year. He was called back to the Marines in 1952 after playing only six games. The return in June of 1953 was a welcome sight for Boston fans. I also like the multi-panel cards and images that don't show the subject's face. The final eight cards in the set are still needed and will do a great job filling in the empty page here. Babe Ruth is featured on two cards, and most cards overall are pretty affordable. Card number 68 isn't that rare and can be had in graded form for a couple bills. I have another 19 or so duplicates which will hang out for trading or in case the decision is made to build another set. If I see them, I'm going to grab them. That means the journey to complete at least one set has begun. <laughs>